Yo, this is Doped Up. This week, uh, Dylan was gone. He's on the road with Big J. So it was me, D.C. Williams, and Sienna Hubert Ross. We talk about her modeling career. We talk about her acting. We uh, and how broke she grew up, and how broke we all are in New York City. See ya. Tonight we party, my friends. Sip on mezcal, I like tequila. Damn, this shit tasty. Can you not? I made about a million off a of pibini. I feel like my life is a movie. Damn, it's too easy. Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders. Hit the embassy. It's bag or die. Uh huh. Oh yeah, up. boy. This is Kevin Sanchez. This is doped up. The Sunday morning smoke show. With it. We got my man DC Williams. Got my man Sienna Hubert Ross. My man Sienna Hubert Ross. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, let's what's popping, homie? All right. Let's go. No homo. And no homo. Dylan J. Negri is, is on the road, man. With who? Friends. With who? Who's on the road? With the great Big J. Oh, Olkerson. man. He's out there. We might give him a call later or some shit yeah. like that. I don't know what time it is. I mean, you know what time it is, bro. He's, he's exploring, doing some white boy shit, probably. Shout out Dylan Gay Negri. Oh, yeah. Yo, Sienna. Hi. Is this your second time on Doped Up? No, I've never done you it. you never done never it? Done I think it. we. I think we were supposed to do it a few times, but just... I never got that DM. Oh! <laughs> yeah. oh. Yeah, make shit I, up. I guess you were talking about me. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were supposed to... Well, you're on the show next week. I know that. Yes. Uh, you're you're going to be in the main room. You're going to be crushing it. Mm-hmm. I've been seeing you lately. Yeah. Randomly do sets around the city. Yeah. Because I remember when you first started, motherfucker. Remember yeah. that? Oh, my God. Yeah. Remember that? No, I don't remember yo, that. Yo, no. Well, you weren't there. You weren't there. I, saw... I hated him. For you hated bit. me? Everybody. Yo. Everybody does. Everybody. He, was like, he came up to me. People come to me. They're like, I'm not sure. I don't know how Kevin feels about him. Like, Kevin was like, you are it. way too beautiful to do comedy. Get yeah, out of here. That's too much. He I did that, I did that from up. stage. No, you didn't. I did that from the stage. I did. Oh, well, you did it twice. I did, I did it twice. You did it. You came up to me after to like just twist the knife in. After. He, he's working the material out. Yeah, because yeah. you know what it was, bro. Because like, first of all, it was a it was a random show. I didn't even uh-huh. go up on that. Yo, it was I left. Cool. This how I was like. It was so bad. I was new to comedy. I was like, yeah. this is so bad. I'm yeah. not even going up on this. Oh my god. My confidence was too Imagine high starting for that. comedy at a bad show. Well, like, it was producers club. Yeah, that's why I left. Good crowd though. So, not no, this show. It's like a puppet show. It, it was. Oh. <laughs> there were like twenty people in the audience. None of them spoke English. Mm-mm. That's bad. Yeah. It's like homeless people in the audience. It, it was like home, yeah. Like, so I'm I'm up there, and I'm looking at you, and I'm like, and I'm looking at the rest of the people. I'm like, do you speak English? Yeah, yeah. She goes, Yes. <laughs> you should have been. Yes. You should have yes. did something to yes, fuck with him. That would have been so funny. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, and then it hits me that. This is a comedian. Yeah. Because the way she responded, yeah. I was like, this is clearly a comedy. I'm like, why yeah. are you trying to do comedy? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Comedy is for fats, uggos, and people with really deep problems. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now we know why you do comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is funny talking to some female comics after a while. Yeah, and yeah, they're like, like, oh, oh yeah, here's the reason like, you do comedy. Not as pretty comedy. when you get to know her. <laughs> yeah. All your prettiness is on the outside. No. No. Literally, literally. <laughs> it's all on the outside. <laughs> but then I started seeing you around the city a lot more. Like, after what, a few years, right? It was like two years ago. And I'm like, oh, shit, she's crushing. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker out here killing it out here. Mm-hmm. I've never yeah. thought those things. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. He's still trying to smash. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm fucking with you, man. Now, as soon as I see you around for like a year, because I have a rule. Like, I, yeah. I try my hardest not to look at comedians that way. Like, uh, Wait, in a sexual oh, way. Like sexual. Oh, sexual. Yeah, oh. I try really hard to be like. <laughs> he came up with that rule after he met me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, at I'm the like, time I thought you were going to quit. I was oh, like, there's yeah, no yeah, way yeah. he's sticking around. Yeah. I was at Producers Club. I'm clearly not going to quit. Yeah. Well, uh, you didn't know where you were going to get stuck into. Uh, it was got hives at that show. The, also, like, when you see someone who's like, oh, like, they're like. You know, it's because some people you don't know, and some people you're like, oh, like, she's not fucking around. Like, she's really, like, doing her best. You yeah. Know what I mean, to be out here. So I think that's dope. I think that's what's dope about you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Fucking I wanted to ask you this before the show started. Uh-huh. Um, what drugs do you do? No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you want me to do that? Okay. <laughs> do you do drugs? No. no. You know, okay. I don't yeah. even smoke weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like you don't do do you drink? Um, I do, but I'm trying to drink less. Cause when yeah. I drink, I really want nicotine. You're like a, are you like a fake party girl? 
Uh, I used to be a party girl. Right. I used to be really intense when I was 18, 19. I did like all the clubs in New York. Of course. And then I kind of just. You were modeling, so it was probably yeah, exactly. really fun at the time. I, I, was, I was going out to clubs when did you at start 16. Modeling? Oh, yeah. So that's I was a different world. already you like. Burn out treated, on the scene. Like, I was treated 22. like an adult at 16. Yo, like, models and gay men have very similar lives yeah, in their teens yeah. in New York City or in East Coast cities. You grew up in Boston, no? I grew up in Boston and I wasn't cool. In Boston. So what happened in okay? So because Boston is a did you grow up in a in a blue collar type like a blue collar type of place I grew up in, in Cambridge, Boston? but it was like very very racist, like mm. super segregated oh. and weird. High school was bizarre. And your well, New York like City a- is like, yo yo this whole thing that we're not segregated still is crazy to me. We're still very segregated yeah. too as, much a, people as a nation. To be segregated for real in New York though, like you can't. I can't go outside without seeing a Dominican, seeing an Asian person, seeing a, but it, a black. But person. Dominican, black, and Asian? No, not maybe not Asian. Asian and pointed at me. That's not. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just I'm just doubling down on your joke. Dominican, <laughs> Dominicans, Dominicans, <laughs> blacks, Puerto Ricans, like in New York City, especially, mm-hmm. they're all a combination the of the whites. same thing. The the supers like you can't the super is always Latin or Spanish. You know what I mean? Like or Albanian. Like you can't. There's it's just too many of us. To it's it is segregated. It's, but no, to be racist here. It's it has to be hilarious. It's only prejudice. Though. Well, yeah. I, I think it's 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 a really unique version of segregation. There was this documentary about this school called like the World School in Chelsea, and it used to babysit kids that went to that school, and it's like the most insane, expensive school ever. And across the street are like the projects. Yeah. And they made a documentary about like how literally the kids will walk through the projects, like the rich kids, and they're like intermixed, but like worlds apart. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's like New York. Like you're on yes. one block, it's super nice and super expensive. The next block, it's like Especially in shops. Brooklyn. And yeah. also, it's so expensive to live here that even people with Bro. money have to move into areas Bro. where... Yeah. Cereal yeah. is $20 right Oh now. my God. Like Kellogg's cereal and shit, right? is insane. Bro, yeah. remember a box of cereal used to... I can't believe... I'm, I feel like... Remember when you were a kid? How old are you? I'm 32. <laughs> okay. Remember when you were a kid and... Um, um, <laughs> Uh, yo, Sienna, if you ever talk to me like that again, yo, Sienna, if you ever talk to me like that again, I promise you, yo, I promise you, there's gonna be some bitches outside waiting for you. you know? okay, okay. When you were a kid, it's cereal was one dollar. I was like, no, it's no, cereal was like five bucks, right? Okay. Five bucks. That's a Which fair. Is, and that was the fire cereal, like Reese's Puff, yeah, 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 Walmart. Yeah. And we're not even talking about the one that just came in the bag. Yeah, like, like the, the like the or, the or the store brand one. Yeah. Well, like not Walmart. even. Walmart. Not even a store brand. I, I wasn't that broke. We, we were getting like, a, <laughs> bro, we were getting like fruity or something. Yeah, shit like that's that. what I mean. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, that's yeah, the bootleg yeah, shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's the bootleg yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Said I wasn't that broke. <laughs> that was dollar ninety nine cereal, mm-hmm. bro, and that shit was banging. Yeah, cereal is crazy expensive though, bro. It really is, bro. It's time to bounce. Even in the hood, like I, I, you know what I realized? Because for some reason in the hood, all the expensive grocery stores are there: Fine Fair, Food Town. Trader Joe's is cheaper than both of those places, yeah. and they're always in white neighborhoods. But they put the expensive ones there because they think it's the, the people. A lot of people in the area receive government subsidies, like so they're expecting people in that area to have food stamps. That's why you're there, and you're like, why the fuck is chicken twelve dollars? Why is cereal ten dollars in this neighborhood in the Bronx where I live? Like in or in Harlem, the Heights, those stores don't belong there. Mm. Trader Joe's is cheaper than all those yeah. stores. But because they know most people over here on food stamps, they put them there. I went to Whole Foods today on uh, in Harlem. You went to Whole Foods? In Harlem. Foods? In Harlem. I went to Whole Foods That don't Harlem. even belong there. Bro, that shit was cheap as fuck. Cheap like, as... surprisingly cheap, bro. How? I've never what seen What did you get? Did you steal? I wanted to because they have a self-checkout line. Yeah. And I was, like, about to do it, but then I was, like. This... I know some people that do it. Yeah. It's like, you think I'm stealing from self-checkout? Yeah. It, let me tell you something. <laughs> right now, I just got me and my company. We, we, everybody got laid off. Uh-huh. And I'm like four or five weeks away from like stealing. Not ste- yes. Stealing. Wait, look, oh, you're in the sales company. Yeah. You guys together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this guy quit two weeks before severance checks came out. Damn. Like before they got the se- uh, that was up. crazy, bro. Just because he felt you know a little tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Yeah, I woke up and said, check. I don't need it, this. No, nah, he wasn't gonna get that much. Oh, really? Because he wasn't there that long. Oh. I was so, there for a year and change. Were you? Yeah. Well, he would have gotten like a, a month. Wait, so what are you gonna do now? Well, right now I was like, um, my bills are low, right? So like, <laughs> I don't have to like. Your voice is so funny. I'm sorry. What What's so you, funny about my voice? You just you sound like a big black man. <laughs> 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 my bills are low. <laughs> That's, it's just sound, it's I'm just like every Biggie. every New Yorker just kind of sounds like so this. You sound like Biggie. That's a big yeah, ass <laughs> compliment, bro. I'm not yeah. gonna hold now, listen, I love my voice. <laughs> no, it's it's <laughs> nice. Too, it's though. just sometimes it's just like. This wow. I get, this I get white girls. 
I can tell. Yeah, I get I get a lot of white girls through. If I wear these glasses, these, first of all, these are the snake charmers for white bitches right here. Yeah, because right? you look nerdy, but you sound like. And then yeah. I, and then I open my mouth and it's like, whoa, hold up, yeah, pussy drippy now. Yeah, pussy drippy. <laughs> 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 <Tanto> drippy. Spanish. Yeah, but I hablan un poquito en español. Okay. I Pero speak no a little bien. bit of Spanish. Not too good. I could Not hear. I understand all okay. of it. You understand? You know Spanish? Uh, it's the first language I could read in, but then I forgot everything. Oh. You had a nanny? No. Why do you think I grew up rich? I because you said this is the first language. I know you're not Latina. Oh, I went to a bilingual school, oh. but it was a public school. Okay, and I also I didn't assume you grew up rich. I'm gonna be real with you. Anybody that looks like you, I just assume kind of grew up a little. Yeah, wealthy. if only you knew. If, let me ask you a question, because I know you probably get that a lot because you model at such yeah. a young age. People you just assume rich. that you grew up with, I'm assuming, some type of privilege, yeah. right? Yeah. But did you? No, I grew up with a single mother. So that don't mean that she could have been... No, I'm, I'm still finishing my sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to interrupt her. <laughs> grew up with, like, you know, on food stamps, welfare, all the shit. Word. Oh, word. You know, electricity was a, was a are we going to have it this month? It was like that. Mm. Yeah. Fire. So Fire. You didn't grow up in the PJs then? Like in, in project buildings, subsidized shit. housing, subsidized right housing. next That's to the project housing. Yeah, yeah. It's close enough. Yeah. Okay, so your mom, what did she do? Right now? No, not now. Before, when you were a child. Um, <laughs> what did she do? Um, <laughs> um, she had a bunch of like random. Do- I mean, she has her master. She's like educated, but my dad kind of like messed up her whole life. You know what I'm saying? Damn, what was the white man? Uh, well, she, he was a white man. He white man. He was a white man. White man. He was a, her waiter. And then, nah, shout out to no, she owned a restaurant. Did she own a restaurant? She, a, he, she was her waiter. No, no, no. no. Like she was. <laughs> no, he was like she waiting on, <laughs> waiting on him. You guys really think that I, my mom is like cool? No, okay. Your mom has a master's, dude. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so she had her master's. Well, no, she actually got it when I was five. I would come to all our classes. It was crazy. But my dad okay. was her waiter. This is a crazy story. Um, they dated for like two years, whatever. They broke up. They hook up once. He literally sticks his dick inside her one time, and she's like, "Never mind." One stroke created me. No, that's got to be a lie. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. You and your mom are kind of close, I'm very close. Was that the first ethnic your father encountered? And it was just overwhelming and he just... Just no, 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 no. They, they dated, dated for two before years. two years. Oh. Man, you don't listen. Yeah, you're disassociating whenever I talk. <laughs> yeah. He said, I don't no, he, hear no, Asian. No, 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 honestly, it's not you. Oh. It's anybody. He doesn't like to do podcasts. Oh, we have to force not. him to do this. <laughs> so, like, he disassociates yeah. and then he comes back in when he feels interested. He, like, didn't even want to give me the address. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's happening? <laughs> um, so you, I'm a pre-cum baby. You're, uh, oh, fire. shit. Oh, yeah. Wait, okay. can we look at the percentage now, if you can? On uh, what are the percentages of having a baby with pre cum? I would like to know because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm an low. abortion survivor. You survive an abortion? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I, but, well, I was a twin. What you mean, ho? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean you get that? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean you get that? <laughs> you do make it sound like you survived like an yeah. explosion or you something. You look like you were that meant was. to have Down syndrome, but you yeah. don't. <laughs> <laughs> look like you fought it. <laughs> <laughs> you fought Down syndrome and survived. Right? You good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I probably fought fetal alcohol soon. Yeah, something like wow. that. You fought something I, really epic. Came, uh, the short answer is that it is possible to get pregnant from pre cum, particularly uh-huh. if you're using the withdrawal method as birth control during sex. It is estimated that about 20% of people can get pregnant from withdrawal method during sex. That's weak pullout game. That's not. Uh-huh. That's not. No. I don't find pre-cum that. Pre cum is true. the liquid that comes out before. I know what pre cum is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but also, I heard that if you're a pre-cum baby, you're, like, if I have sex with a guy, I'm more susceptible to getting pregnant for pre-cum. Oh, like, so I'm you extra always fertile. gotta use condoms. If you, if yeah, you're I mean, I don't really be fucking like that. Yeah, good for yeah. you. Honestly, I, I regret... I'm 24, though. I regret yeah. being... My body counts mad, though. Good, good. Honestly, yo, I used to, like, push, like, uh, sex, sex positivity. I... Regret ever pushing that on women, on men and women. I used, yeah, I used to. Cause, what do you mean? What are you saying? Why are you whispering? You had a mic. I just, I'm just trying to figure out when you were pushing this. Oh, when I was in, when I was dumb, like when I was from 20 to like 27. He was like, free the nipple, free the nipple. No, it wasn't like that. It was more like, yo, let's just fuck, let's have yeah. a good time. It was real yeah. hippie ish. Yeah, yeah. But and, it's different for a man. No, it's not. Yes, that's, it is, no, 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 bro. No, 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 no. That's we gotta stop that stupid narrative. Yo, keep your body count low, man. For real, for real, keep your body count low, bro. Dead ass, like, like spill your seat. Stop yo, spilling your seat. Stop spilling retain your, your seat. semen. That's what you Re- want. Not retain your not semen. Retain your I'm, semen retention. Yes. I used to read a lot about that. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if that works. It might. I'm not sure. I know you've tried it. Were you? 
I'm trying. I'm trying. Did you feel more successful in those I, few I months? I felt better about myself. You, have, you have, your self esteem goes up when you don't match. Well, you have your more of your uh, testosterone inside yeah. you. That also yeah. too. You're not unloading it for no reason. Yeah, I just feel like um, for a while there, for like a year or two, when I was like really uh, uh, frivolous with penis, like <laughs> it, it was, it was. Um, like it was hard for me to fall in love. It was yeah, hard yeah. for me to like retain relationships. Yeah. And then I knew I was like, is, we have so many options now. Mm-hmm. And you gotta like try to like fucking... Oh, I hate that shit. I went on a date with this guy. It was like a second date, and he was definitely the pursuer. And we're like about to leave and like go to his hotel. I'm not gonna fuck him because I don't do that. But he doesn't know that. And then I, I go to the bathroom while like I'm waiting for the he's waiting for the Uber and I come out and he's literally on the dating app we met. On our fucking date. I've seen that. That's happened. Oh. I, I was horrible. I was like, either you're retarded or you don't respect me at all. And either option, I yeah. don't want to yeah. fuck. But that's so, what it fe- everything feels so whatever that that's it's like fast fashion now. Yeah, it's like fast. So it's like, oh, she goes to the bathroom, fast fashion? Keep swiping. Fast fashion is just like Forever 21, H-O. like Urban oh. Outfitters. It's that's what like, dating is like now. Yeah, it's just like, okay, you can get another one. It's kind of like when an ugly guy gets a hot girl and then he feels like, oh. I can always get a hot girl. Now I can get another one, another one, another one. Yeah. So I don't date ugly guys anymore. I'm not ugly, bro. <laughs> Fuck it. This guy gets a lot of pussy, bro. You have a nice nose. <laughs> I was actually telling somebody That's that interesting. on the phone. I was talking to my homie. I was, I was like, Kevin has a lot of pussy. <laughs> not anymore, bro. I, I, honestly, I'm in love right now. It's yeah. it's hard to yeah. like manage it because like it's long distance. Where but, she like, live? She um, she, this is a long story, bro. Okay. But, like, She's in prison. <laughs> Listen, she Damn, got, that might be the easiest way to bag a chick in prison. Yeah, Yo, how, right how embarrassing would it be if like they denied you, bro? That would be wild. That would be wild. That would be crazy. Damn. Damn. Imagine me with a prison boyfriend. Damn. That, well, you don't fuck a lot, so that'd probably be more along the lines of it'd be a lot of love letters. I don't fuck. It'd be romantic for a lot of reasons, though. What is it? Oh, you know, I really don't want to. I don't want this conversation to get sexual because I, I hate when we do that every okay. time we have a. There's also no good reason to not fuck, so there's no point in it. What do you mean? There's no I'm good reason to not fuck? I wasn't gonna talk <laughs> about my sex. I'm not gonna talk about my sex. Yeah. yeah. No, but you're from Boston. That's what we're talking That's about. That's what we're talking about. Boston. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're from Boston. <laughs> You're from a uh, racist Cambridge. So now, yeah. Cambridge is interesting because I, I feel like that's a rich neighborhood. But is it like that <laughs> oh, Chelsea so, neighborhood? Sorry. It's fine. Uh, is it like that Chelsea neighborhood where it's like it's uh, surrounded by richness and in the middle is poor? Um, It's kind of like Brooklyn, I would say. Mm. Um, it's it's changed a lot. Like now going back, like it's very different. But like literally, I would hear gunshots all the time on my street. Like oh. literally, like almost at least like three times a week. Mm. And but then the, the the house across from me was going for four million on the market. Like, what? It when you were growing up? Yeah, growing wow. up. Shit made no sense at all. I only know wow. that because like the guy selling it was saying that. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know if they sold it for that much, but yeah. there's no way. In there's hell. no way in hell. I'm like they hear no gunshots, but you know, but now it's get probably worth four or five. Yeah, well, now they have more. a cafe at the end of the street. I'm like, what the hell? Yes, but yeah, right. it came. Why do why do why do people think that cafes, like oh this I'm gonna build this neighborhood, but up by building a cafe. Like because cafes like people I, like coffee. Yeah, mm-hmm. black people don't know what espresso is. <laughs> I, not, I just saw a <laughs> dope I seen a few dope ass cafes in Harlem today. Yeah. Like just walking. A lot of nice Bro, ones. Bro, the up, worst latte I ever had was in Harlem. Was like, Y'all <laughs> don't know about milk ratio. <laughs> I'm black. But shit. Did you have Puerto Rican coffee? Yo, I don't they, people don't understand medium large latte that doesn't make any sense. There's no, you can't have a different size of a latte. It's all about this a ratio. Of that means that means that means the milk is way more mm-hmm. than you need. So like, a, an espresso is an espresso so- yeah. a shot. A macchiato yeah. is just foam on top. Mm-hmm. A cortado is a, is a drop of milk and foam mm-hmm. on top. A latte is a little bit more than that. Um, Depending on a if cappuccino you want a is a little less than a latte. A flat white is no foam. But you coffee. can't have a si- different size. Does mm. that make sense? Like you can't it, really have a large. A large latte would mean that you put hella espresso in it. And it's more only. Milk. It's always the same amount of espresso. It, right, which is this much, one shot. Yeah, and then you got to fill it with more milk, milk which yeah. just kind of dilutes. So it's it. at that point, it's like a flat white. Yeah. I guess you know yeah. what I mean. Sorry. You know so them. much about coffee. Yo, honestly, that's, <laughs> some, yeah, that's some model shit, I'm assuming. Yeah, yo, like, yo, first of all, you can't do that. <laughs> that fucking pours. Double pump yeah. latte, hey, low yo, fat bro, muffin. Yo, did you date rich people? What do you mean? Yeah. Did you date a lot of rich people well, I was a as a model? for a while. Did oh, you date... Wait. Yo, rich would you... Guys, you know rich do you chicks, care bro. if a woman has a lot of money? Well, when I was, like, fucking woman for a while, um, no. No. I mean, I wasn't, like... I, now I'm at a point where I'm, like, you better know how to provide. And, I mean... 
it's usually like towards a man but when I was just like sleeping around with women and dating women I didn't really like care that much only in hindsight like all my exes would buy my flights and stuff like my ex-girlfriends it's so funny because like when my, my when my friends will like date men and they don't buy their flights places I'm like oh my god I'm like what like my fucking mm-hmm. feminist feminine ass girlfriends would fly me to LA you know what I mean <laughs> when I was like 19 I'm like okay mom I gotta find a feminist a feminist yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if a no feminist stuff. I guess maybe but uh, I'm at a point where I'm like no you gotta provide for me you gotta you know mm-hmm. yeah, you gotta yeah. wanna pay my rent I'm like no baba <laughs> <laughs> I got it I don't um, you know pay my rent. I invest myself too much to not have someone who has money I feel you son I feel you but fuck dude we gotta rob somebody dude we gotta like you gotta oh. find one of these guys on the internet I had a sugar that daddy rich. Who can, so can rich. we rob him me and Kevin I saw his address oh well <laughs> 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 we, we come up with a biggie, a, a biggie yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, like that. It, Remember when know? he robbed that Knicks player? Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Need something like that. An old guy unsuspecting, a, a doofus. Yeah, a complete just a doofus. straight. Yeah. Mm. He was my, already robbed. My brother has a few sugar daddies. That like his kink or something? Oh, he was robbed. That's why he started being a sugar daddy. Because he wanted hot girls to walk him around. Oh. Whoa, so he like he like got turned on being robbed or some shit? So we got robbed and then he kinda I I guess it hit his head so he became like slow after and then <sighs> a little br- <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like so dead up. <laughs> And then, uh, like, so what I would do, I, was, I would go to the Upper West Side, and he would just come down, and we would just walk around for, like, hours, and he would, like, stumble to hold my shoulder. But he felt like if he was with a beautiful girl, he wouldn't get beat up. <laughs> Mad weird. <laughs> Yo, honestly, can like, I, I'm gonna can I, no, that's a, that's a fear of mine, bro. <laughs> getting beat up in front of a beautiful girl. Getting beat up, get like, some dude, some dude, like, some yoke dude coming up to me, like, this is my girl now. Yeah, and just yeah. pushing me out the way, yeah. <laughs> nothing I can do about yeah. it. Yeah, this man was mad ugly. It was crazy. Yeah? So, let me ask, like, how do you, like, persevere? What? Like, in that, <laughs> like, like, to be with a dude that's ugly like that. I didn't sleep with him or anything. You just had to, like... I never even hugged him. It's, it's... You never hugged him. <laughs> I've never hugged him. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. She just walked him. Yo, I, you never hugged My him? My body count is five men. I not, never hugged him. I'm not man. telling you... Yeah. I'm not saying, obviously, I'm not, I know... I believe you when you say your body count is low. But what I'm saying is... <laughs> yeah, I was... <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> what? What? It's just the way you said it sounded yeah. like disbelief. Yeah. Like, like... <laughs> no, I believe. I really do believe. You believe that? I believe. Okay. I think it's gross. What? That you only had sex with five dudes. That's crazy. You... <laughs> <laughs> that's that, I, that's that like, reverse what? psychology yeah. shit. Yeah. Damn, five, yo. Damn, that's like you can wild. add one or two. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> it's like chill. <laughs> 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 sounds Wait, like jail. Yeah. What? <laughs> it sounds like jail. But um so you just walk this motherfucker around the block, let him pee him shit and then take Oh him my god. Him. No, so I would walk around and he would like take me to restaurants, but oh my god, it was it was he was so ugly that it was like hard to even eat with yeah. him. Because you know old people they like they forget chew how to with chew. Mouth yeah. Fuck, yeah. he would have like ricotta on his nose hair and I'm like, ah, I cannot I don't care how good this killer. fucking ravioli is, I cannot eat. I would be like, I need to wrap it up to go. Yeah. And then I remember one time he he wanted me how to How old is he? So I heard he was in his 70s, but then he told me that he was 65. Uh, was why like, lie? <laughs> yeah, I was like, you took a decade off as if that's going to change it. <laughs> it's still so old. Yeah, literally. <laughs> he brought me up to his apartment once, and I was, like, scared. He was like, I need help with my laptop. And I was yeah. like, okay. So I was like, what do you need? And he just, like, needed me to log in. And I was like, you're retarded. Yeah. And, then, and then he, like, went to the bathroom, and then... And then he immediately kicked me out. And I was like, did I do something wrong? And he texted me. He's like, sorry, I just had really bad diarrhea. And then I didn't oh, respond because wow. I was like, that's mad awkward. And he yeah. was like, can you please respond? And I was like, oh, no worries. I get stomach issues too. Oh, mad man. weird. So what uh, you've seen his nut sack, sorry. Oh. I just want to know if a dude like that has Bro, a long I'll show you guys sack. a picture of him later. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to think it. Because my brother showed me his sugar daddy. Is your brother well, gay? One of my brothers. Yeah, my older brother's gay. And he, I couldn't believe it, bro. I was like, you really? And he goes, I don't sleep with him. And he goes, he goes, he. You know, I just gotta go to a Broadway play with him. I gotta have lunch with him, or early dinner, and then it's like that's five to a thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. Lunch or early dinner for five G's. It's getting harder though because yeah. men are getting cheaper. To it's getting saturated. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the gay men are getting cheaper. Is, is less than the economy. It's cheaper. Huh? The state of the economy. No, men men are just like now like. They're like, what do you bring to the table? And I'm like, women don't have to bring anything to the table. Nah, that's crazy. I don't believe that shit. I think women do got to bring shit to the table. <clears throat> this is a but red like, pill podcast. But, I don't know if huh? you know that. What is that? We've been pretty red pilled for the past couple months. Okay, tell, tell me what's up. You know what a red pill podcast is? Oh, is it the enough podcast? Whatever. 
where they have like the OnlyFans girls. Yeah, and, like yeah, Candace yeah, Owens yeah, is yeah, like, you're no, never gonna find love. Go yeah. find Jesus. You know, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> it. actually you should do a bit about that. No one talks about that. That's pretty interesting. Um, oh, I should make a bit about that. Yeah, because like no, I feel like talking to the mic, buddy. I feel like from a woman's perspective, no one really talks about it. What like, Candace those, Owens? Those pod- like Manosphere podcasts. Like dudes, I've heard dudes make fun of it and other shit like that, but I've never really heard it from a woman. Yeah, perspective. Yeah, it's mad. I think Candace Owens is so fucking funny. Who is? She's she? like, you're a hoe. Candace you're gonna Owens? die alone. <laughs> like, she's just, she does not sugarcoat anything. She's like, you're a 44 year old whore, and I'm like, all right. Well, she just went there. I mean, some of them are forty. Loki, I would smash. Candace? Candace Owens. Yeah, she cute. She got cute. Little she cute, but then sometimes I look at her and look like a little goblin. Yeah, you but know? I like my little goblin. You like your little goblin? I wish she didn't end up with a guy so white. If she ended up with a black man, then it would add validity to what she says. Yeah. But she ended up with the whitest man I've ever seen in my life. She's I mean, cheating on Are you she, surprised? She got engaged to him within two weeks of meeting him. Yeah, she, she looks cute as fuck, son. She's yeah, cute. she's I cute. As hell. She cute she's cute, bro. I don't she's know what you're talking about. Cute. A goblin. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, she's they're, beautiful. They're, I don't think she's really beautiful, actually. Yeah, look at her jaw. She looks her good. cheekbones. This guy, this guy's it's a different guy. This guy told a chick that he said she was gaining too much weight. He, <laughs> yeah, this he guy. like looked at my bone structure. He said, "Comedy, not for you." <laughs> and then I literally hated you for a long time. How long? Literally until you started, um, I think like doped up, and then like you talked to Rowie, mm-hmm. and then you said, "Oh, you talked to Rowie," and then you said, "Like I don't, I see him doesn't like me. I don't think because I said something weird to her." I didn't say none of that shit because I don't care well, if you like me. But <laughs> okay, well, I didn't say now we have beef. Now we got um, beef, though. But you said to someone something, or they lied to me. They mm. definitely lied to you because I don't. Uh, the only thing I ever said about you behind your back uh, about you specifically yeah. is like, oh shit, she got really funny. Oh, that's the only thing I've ever said. No, I didn't actively dislike you. Yeah. I just I was just hurt by that comment for a while because that was my first show. You, I think because I think you took that was your first show. Yeah, and that's fucked up. Do you he, see what I mean? He was yeah. really irritated about two years ago. He he was re- a lot more irritated than he was now. He was. I remember that. Yeah, Kevin, coming out. I didn't have an active dislike of you. It's more like you know when you're negged by someone and then you're like, oh. I guess we don't fuck with each other. Yeah. He wasn't even negging. He but I never even serious. had a real conversation. Serious. He was dead serious. Was, <laughs> she wasn't even negging. I wasn't negging you at all. <laughs> but at least you gave me a compliment as well. Well, it was more like, because like, I, I, don't, I shouldn't have said that. And I regret it. I, I did something else to a girl recently <laughs> in comedy where she was like, she said something to me. And I was like, <clears throat> she asked me for advice. Mm-hmm. And my I usually go, there's no advice I can give you. You just got to. Like don't listen. My only advice is don't listen to anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. That's what Good I say advice, now. Though. Yeah. That's what I usually say. It's but for some reason, I, I decided. Oh, I'm gonna tell her what I really think. <laughs> right. Oh, and then, dumb. <laughs> what did you say? Dumb. She was like, she asked me like, what should I wear? I said, just try not to show so much of yourself yeah. on, on stage. Yeah. Right. That's like a rule of thumb usually for girls. Yeah. So people pay attention. Girl, someone told me about. And then incident. the first thing she did when she got on stage, like my friend who's sitting over there, just told me that like I should not wear something like this. And I was um, like, I'm never giving advice yeah. again. I feel that. Yeah. Because yeah, well, that, that, that was whatever. That was no, funny. I get why she did that. The one that you told her she dressed like Billie Eilish. She does dress, or she, she told her you should dress more like Billie Eilish or something. Yeah, so that, yeah, 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 talking about someone she's told hot. me about she's that. She's hot. Yeah, she's hot. Someone brought that up to someone else. That to, I know. about me. Yeah, yeah, that you told her. That. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, and I only told you that one. It was the middle. I had pandemic brain, bro. Like, don't whatever. <laughs> that I, was pandemic. It was like whatever was walking, I did bro. from twenty twenty. Whatever I said to you between twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one, discard that shit. <laughs> You're also wearing like a full on trench coat. I was like. <laughs> Remember your trench coat era? I was like, oh, you didn't even introduce nah. yourself to me. You just like came, you slid over to me near the nah, I, I definitely had a peak hole on that yeah. day. I didn't have a trench coat until later. But oh. yeah, I remember I remember when I went up to you. Oh. Yeah. But and I don't regret it. Nah, I regret no, it. No, no, nah, no. I don't it's regret funny. It. I don't it's re- funny. I mean it's funny now. Hey, that's how things start. Yeah, and there's there's no real you don't have any real reason to hate a person. You look back and like, why was I doing that? You know, yeah. and I was just I oh, wasn't hating on Sienna. No, it isn't. No, no. And it's if I, if someone said it to me now, I'd be like, okay, whatever. You don't know. <laughs> but I was like there. I was like at producers club. I was like, this is horrible. And this guy in the Pico is like, hey, <laughs> go back to your modeling agency. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say no, 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 Go no, no, back no. to Koreatown. Yo. Like, I was yeah. like, you trying to be an actress? God damn. <laughs> I did ask you. I was like, you trying to be an actress? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay, now you remember clearly. Uh, it's, co- it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Give it time, yo. I, don't, I like how was, people. That was pandemic brain, bro. Like, yo, don't, don't listen to me, bro. Also, don't listen to people. I like how 
of people try well, to make you feel bad that. about that. Though. Huh? Like, oh, oh, you want to be an actor? I hate <laughs> that. You know, I've noticed. I've noticed though, like new comics are very weird about like me being an actor. For instance, like yeah. if they look at my Instagram, and then seasoned like pro comics are always so. Oh, interested that's dope. Yeah. in yeah. my acting you know thank what I mean? god you're not a miserable comic yeah exactly because <laughs> like, a lot of them want to do acting they just want to be a comedian all around they're yeah. insecure but it's like, about acting though and some of them a lot of them, a lot of them are acting. exactly and, so they are insecure exactly. and if you've done anything they're like oh my god yeah it's very weird it's but very then weird. like brand wait new did you hate me after I, I was like yo <laughs> <laughs> like, you're being what? a girl right now what's up you've played this the whole thing no 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 tell me fuck all that I never hated you that was it I was over exaggerating let's go let's go Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's go through over exaggeration. Okay. Over okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to. Did you hate yet. me when I was like, "Yo, congratulations on your movie. That shit was dope." Because I hit you up out of nowhere. Like we didn't really have any kind of kind of like. No, friendship. I also did not hate you. Okay. I just, I just, you know, when like you didn't I didn't matter get, that much. Bro. Yeah. No. <laughs> I have you ever thought about having comedy friends? People to listen to dope up? Don't. It's the worst decision well, ever. I also saw you like slaughter. I don't remember where, and you were so funny. And that's when I the wreckage. Not like I took your opinion more seriously, but I was like, oh, like he's like I'm like, obviously been doing comedy longer than me. But then when I saw you murder, I was like, oh, that's different. Like he yeah. did. Thank you. He worked different. But when you when anyone congratulated me on the movie, unless it was someone who had been mad fake to me, I was like, thank you. And like, no, I, I thought that was cool as shit, yeah. bro. Because like we were doing, I felt like that was. Like you filmed it obviously during the pandemic, I'm assuming. So I filmed it actually a few months before I met you. So during the pandemic, yeah, right, yeah. So like, and if you did anything during the pandemic, I applauded you, bro. Yeah. Because like, I I just did the math on like, oh she had to have done this before the yeah. pandemic, and that shit is that like people stop talking about. It, I guess they have like the fatigue of that yeah. pandemic and talking about it for so long mm. but that was a fucking weird era oh it was and if you got up and you got out of your fucking house to do anything I thought you were a fucking you were a fucking boss I mean that. look that was some being able shit. to film something during that pandemic because everyone was fucking lost you know what I mean and the acting industry completely changed where everything was self tape so you mm. didn't need to be anywhere like even my agents were like you can live in India it doesn't matter <laughs> so when I booked that and I got to like live on location and everything in like mm. a hotel I was like Oh, like I'm a Fucking person because cool. I I moved to Boston and I you had moved a, back to Boston. Yeah, and so I had, you were in, were you in New York at the time? Yeah, I was in New York before, and then I, like I, that was like my whole escape, like moving to New York and like modeling was a. Well, I only did modeling to get into acting and comedy, but it was just like a part of my like okay, providing for myself and everything, and then going back to Boston was like such a mind fuck. I got so depressed. I'm literally Can't one. Imagine, yeah. I'm 127 pounds right now. I got down to 98 pounds. Holy yeah. shit, man! And yeah. you, I'm and you so don't fit. look like you could. Yeah, no. Like one, one I lost. Yeah. That's like. What? Do you think you'll ever be that beautiful again? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you. Fuck you. Imagine. No, my face. My face actually looked lit. <laughs> my face looked lit. I would literally not leave the house for like three weeks at, at a time. I so I was up for a really huge role and during the pandemic, and I, you know I was living in my childhood bedroom, and mm -hmm. like I grew, it, I grew poor in like yeah. my mom's apartment. It remind you a lot of shit. Right? It remind mm -hmm. me of just like a lot of like trauma with my dad, and like just mm -hmm. all this. Bullshit. And when you when you you grow broke, yo. There's this thing where it's like you all you want to do is get away yeah. from where you so from. Yeah, from and it. you do so yeah. much to get out. And then the pandemic was like, I'm back in the twin size fucking bed. Yeah, I, you know, my mom sleeps on the couch in the living room. What like, kind of what kind of um, drug addicts are around Cambridge? Because that's a, that's a big deal too. Like, needles. was it was it oh my God. was it meth? Was it was it heroin? I would say like crack. Crack. Yeah. Okay. No, because like. Yo, bro, like right now I'm back in the I'm back in the hood. Yeah. Right? And I'm gonna be there until I leave to Austin. And bro, like, like being around heroin addicts is or whatever the fuck they're taking, because I have no idea what they're taking right now, <laughs> is fucking jarring. From 8 p.m. to to 3 a.m. Yeah. It's scary as shit I've in these halls. I've seen them in the in the city city. Like yeah. on, th on Hell's and Kitchen? yeah, okay. yeah, and Thirty Fourth Street. I yeah. literally saw a girl who was mixed and looked like she was my age, literally with her syringe. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I was God. like, and she didn't. She literally looked young, she like she was a young mixed girl, which Shit. is like not the demographic. She was just sitting against like a sushi place, injecting <laughs> herself. You feel like she was edgier than you, and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn. If I did that, be famous by now. <laughs> I was like, yo, it's about heroin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone be like, whoa, this girl's wild. Bro. I cut off my dick. Yeah. <laughs> I cut off my dick. So you, so you were back home. The press is fucked. 
depressed as fuck. Um, the BLM, arguing with your mom's probably nonstop. It was just horrible. I dated someone briefly to like try to get out of the pandemic, <laughs> and I no. went to LA briefly. Not to cut it off, no. but speaking of someone you dated, can I can I bring this up? Uh, it's about the Boston, Boston. Oh I yeah, mean. it's it, but it's complicated because it's a joke. You know what I mean? It, what, did you really date him though? No, we went to McDonald's together. <laughs> The Boston Bomber. The Boston I have a whole Bomber. joke about the Boston Bomber. Nah, nah, nah. I want to know about wait, the relationship with the Boston Bomber. Hold on. You went to dinner? No, we went to McDonald's. Uh, Mickey D. They yeah, talked Mickey for D. six months and then this nigga became a no, terrorist. No, we didn't talk for six months. Uh, uh, I, said, I said we went to McDonald's six months before he did it. Okay. Hey, doped up. <laughs> Never date a girl. I don't want this girls. to be the clip. I don't want this. <laughs> to be the clip. I don't literally say ching chong or we can tell. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> your, your camera's over her head. That's your camera. Yeah, what oh, you if you're talking to the audience, talk to the one oh, over okay, Sienna's okay, head. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yo, don't me. Deliver, oh, deliver them the message. So you guys, <laughs> hey. what, you guys, wait, wait, wait you guys fun. briefly went to McDonald's. I literally went to McDonald's with him once, and then I was talking to him. once. Okay. Yeah, but I had a, a crush on him for a very long time. He yo, was where'd sexy. you meet him? So he, my mom's best friend, like childhood best friend that she used since she was 16. Her son, his name, he's black kid. He's be, he was best friends with Jahar. Mm. And I had a crush on Jahari, which is like a little white boy. Put up Jahari, bro. Yo, he's sexy as well. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. European. I I remember a lot of girls was like like, when he was sexy. He was on Time Magazine or some shit like that. Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone Stone cover, yeah. Which is what a wild thing to do, Rolling Stone. But it's just such a great joke. The thing is, I was telling a comic, and they were like, "That joke." I mean, they were like, "That concept." If you just had McDonald's with him, (laughs) you'd need to make that to a joke. Because I would just be like Jahari, and they're like, "What are you saying his name? Like you know him?" And I was like, "Well, daddy." So you only like girls and terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good Bro, name for a special, girls so and terrorists. Wild. Girls and terrorists, yeah, I'd be loving pussy. That's the name of this episode, girls and terrorists. Huh? <laughs> Fuck, dude. So um, this motherfucker. We don't got. Well, well, that was genius. All right. Which this guy? Okay? Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Huh? Natalie, would you fuck? <laughs> sure. He's mid. You, you think he? You think he's hot? I mean, Natalie? as far as terrorists go. Look at his brother. His brother got all the bad features. I've seen better looking. <laughs> yeah. all the he bad has features. a better jawline for sure, that kid. I bet you his brother really <laughs> could wrestle him to do that shit. That was that's the assumption. I always assumed the uglier Jahar, version. A white boy named Jahar. That nigga gotta be dangerous, right? <laughs> he's not a white so boy wild. for real, for real. He's no, he's like he's Middle like Eastern. he's Middle Eastern. Yeah, but he looks white. Yeah, he does look white. Holy it's shit. It's like how I'm Asian. Is how you're Asian? Yeah. You're, you're Blasian. Oh, you're not even Blasian, dude. No, my dad is like the whitest man you'll ever see in your you're life. You're such a confusing person. Wait, do you still talk around. to that motherfucker? No. That no? Motherfucker's crazy. He's crazy? Yeah. Is he really? So what did he end up doing with his life? Uh, he, do you talk about it or do you want to? white family. Word? Yeah. <laughs> how far away? Upstate New York. Oh, so he moved the distance. Wow. Yeah. You talk to your brother? No. He's also like, he's 13 years younger than me. Yeah. So oh, 11. you don't want to talk to that motherfucker. You think you would want to, like, ever know him or... I, I have this I have this hope that he's gonna like end up like queer and like non binary wow. and then he's gonna hate my dad for like how he treated his black daughter mm. and then like steal all his money and then give you some. Mm. That's never gonna happen. He has money. Yeah. Um I don't really know how he has money. He like flips houses. Oh, he, he, he's he, a wedding photographer, but he's horrible at it. Oh my god. Wait, how do you know this? You well, be, because he was a wedding Facebook? So I, I had to see him for holidays as a kid. That was horrendous. And then I eventually could, I was like able to cut him off as I got older. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but wh- he didn't like provide for me at all. Damn. Yeah. So he, my man was flipping houses. No, no. My man owned four houses so and my mom had, was struggling with electricity. She had t- so he just didn't want her. He just didn't want to be with your mom. He didn't want me either. Wow. My dad did not love me at all. So why the fuck wow, did you go dude. spend summers or Christmas or holidays? He's like a narcissist. Him. He needed to like take her, take me away from her. You know what I mean? Yeah, he wanted to hurt her. I me. remember one time I went to months. New York. Um, my grandparents picked me up and brought me there. And obviously, it's supposed to, uh, to see him. He didn't see me once. I was there for a week. Damn. And I was like literally just like an eight year old, just like sitting in my room all day. And you wanted to see your dad at that point. I mean, at, at that point, yeah. I think my whole life I tried to get him to love me. And then when I was like 16, I realized like he just really didn't. Like, not even to over exaggerate, he just like didn't love me. Damn. And bro. then I was just like, okay, I don't want this relationship to change. Nah, I respect it, man. My dad never told me that. <laughs> Yeah. But I like I he was just like you'll know I don't love you because I I won't be there. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, yeah. literally. I remember one time I asked him for money. I don't I don't talk to him mm-hmm. at all. I and we don't even have a relationship where I can ask him for money. But one time I was like 19 and I literally didn't have rent. My mom doesn't really have money. Like I had no one to ask. Yeah. Yeah. And I like I'm like I was so low on money. I was like fuck like okay, I'm going to hit him up. I hit him up and he was like I wouldn't give you the only way that I would give you money is if you were dying on your deathbed. 
That don't even make sense. Yeah, I know. That don't even make, that don't even make sense. sense. He was trying to start the me. purpose of not? What is the purpose of him not? Like, he just didn't want a kid? Like Yeah. And then when my movie came out, though, he hit me up and he was like, oh, I'm just like a fanboy of a girl doing amazing things. Suck my dick, no, girl! He did, that? he did say that. And he I, said, hold on, hold on. Hold he hold called on. himself a fanboy. He didn't even call himself my father. Yeah. And my mom, free, she called his mom. She called his wife. She, like, left voicemails because nobody answered. She was like, like, that motherfucker, don't ever have him reach out to her ever fucking yeah. again or I'm going to go up to New York, blah, blah, blah. Yo, that's a that's weird old sentence. I know. Yeah, that's a weird old sentence. Weird. That's a real like weird old you, sentence, bro. That's wild, bro. You can't just say, "Hey, I'm proud." Yo, of you. sometimes yeah. you hear shit. I hear shit like this. I'm, I'm so happy. I was like, I like, I have no relationship with my parents. Like, yeah, I can't. Like, I'm a. I would rather not have relationship. Man. I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's losing a parent, never meeting them, and dealing with the unanswered questions and shit. Or like, uh, I would rather ha- him be dead and never, because then you get all this trauma. Like I have severe trauma from him. You yeah. know what I mean? That like lasted for like seventeen years of my life in yeah. all the form. You know what I mean? And then like now I'm living with it as like a young. If, if he was dead, I'd be like, okay, I never knew. Yeah, I was out of yeah mind. you could, you could, you had plausible denial. Like, he he would have loved me. Yeah, yeah. so proud. Yeah. <laughs> my pops is, uh, would be de- he could be dead right now for sure, and I would never. You know. would never know. I would never know. I know I'm taller than him, so. How do you know, know that? that? I know that. I got my mom's height. Thank God. Oh, you're <laughs> short, man. My mom, my pops was shorter than my mom. I couldn't believe it. I was like, why did you date someone like that? Damn, <laughs> you heard it here. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. I'm dope up. like 6'2 now. Don't be like, dating these short kings, bro. Damn. Damn. Bro, How tall was your dad? 6'4. Oh, he was a tall mom. My dad's hot. Well, he was hot. He was hot? Yeah. She told me she was taller than me yesterday. I almost ran into traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how yeah. tall are you, dog? I'm 5'9 and a half. She's about my okay. height, man. Oh. How tall are you? He said I'm 5'8. I'm 5'10. I'm 5'9 and a half. 5'10. <laughs> 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 like a line on Tinder, dog. Yeah, literally. You can be, be, be like, really? I'm just like, yeah. It's just, it's just, I just got long arms, so people think I'm tall, but I'm not. Hey, you guys are moving to Austin. That's crazy. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. Yes. Here, uh, You're out everyone's of moving. You're moving to Austin, too, bro. I said you guys. I said you guys. Oh, you. I'm telling you. What the fuck are you Ooh. doing? What the fuck is anyone doing here in New York? I should move to Austin. I don't know. Everyone should move said? to Austin. I'm not giving nobody any more advice. <laughs> yeah, he's saying, I, I, I'm doing what's best for bitch, me. You hot bitch, go to Austin. <laughs> go to the strip club. I'm, I'm I'm doing what's best for me, bro. Like this shit is like it's one. New York City is too expensive. I I want to make money in, in comedy. I don't even know um, if you're from here though. You know what I mean? What do you mean? It, it does matter because it is too expensive. But like when you're from here, you're just like I I. Either I have to put up with it regardless. What are you, know you talking what I mean? about? Just New York being expensive. No, bro. <laughs> you don't think yeah, you have to put up with it? No, bro. I grew You're up, like, I have legacy. Like, what does that mean? I grew up in Harlem. I know how to be broke. I know how to be poor. Yeah, yeah. Right? But now, to be broke or poor here, you got to make, like, 70000 <laughs> That's so true. Like, <laughs> unless you want to live in government assistance stuff, yeah. and I don't, bro. Today, today, I had to bring my, my, one, my little brother, uh, the non-gay one. To like this court mandated therapy session, uh-huh. mm. bro. I walk in there, <laughs> yo. I walk in there with my brother, and he goes, "You gonna wait for me?" I said, "I'm gonna try." And the reason why I said that is because there was this lady. I, she smells like dick. Like she smells. Like she just fucked in the bathroom or something, and it's all <laughs> over her hands. And then there was these dudes. They were just staring at each other. <laughs> just looking at each other like, with anger in their eyes. Autist, autistic therapy. hood kids, bro. Huh? Autistic hood kids. Are these Not all kids. people waiting for therapy? 60, 70, 50s. Whoa. Huh? Why well, these are all people Court waiting? mandated therapy. What does that mean? Is that like when you rape someone, they're like, oh, you got to Not rape. Is It's about dr- it's all drug addicts. Oh. Drug addicts and drug dealers. All in the same. Vis- it's such a crazy system, though. <laughs> then I hear they're having a group therapy session. Sorry. <laughs> They're having a group therapy session with each other. Yeah. And fucking, uh, they, I hear it. They're in another room, and this guy starts going, this guy starts going, uh, you know what it is to be a gangster. And then I look around, and there's no security here. Uh-huh. There's wow. no metal detectors. I just walked up here. Any one of these dudes could have a gun. We're in the middle of Harlem. And I was like, I'm going to leave. Uh-huh. And I left my brother there to defend himself. Good God. And I went downstairs yeah. and I went to Whole Foods and I brought groceries. And I went home. <laughs> but, I, bro, I'm, I, I, these are, there's too many people in New York like this. Isn't Austin expensive, though? Not as expensive as New uh, Also, I'd rather pay 1800 for a one bedroom there than a one bedroom here. Yeah. Right? A one bedroom room there is at least 1500 square foot. Yeah, uh, 1800 here, you're going to be living in the hood. In a, so. Yeah, you're in the hood. Yeah. You're on 126. The hood, the hood is not motivating. It is. It is motivating. No, it is motivating. Well, it's motivating to some people. Yeah. 
but it's also not at the same time. Like, I was at my friend's apartment today in Chelsea, and that shit is massive. It's like a four bedroom. Yeah. And I was like, yo. What does she do? No, it's a long story. I can't talk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, but, what do you mean you can't tell? No, because yeah. it, it's like, it's like the, it's someone else is giving them, like, they're staying at someone oh, else's place. Okay, you that's, know? That's, that's all you have to say. Um, but, <laughs> but it was so stunning. It's like a real place. Like, this would be a place in the suburbs. Like, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if I woke up here every day, yo, you know, my body would be like, I would be like doing my Pilates first thing. I'd be waking yeah. up at five. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'd be walking on the High Line. Like, you know? The girl I'm talking to. I thought you had a girlfriend. My, gr- my girl. getting demoted every, <laughs> every, every other minutes. sentence. Uh, it's hard for me to do long distance. I go back and forth in my head. <laughs> Whether we're talking or together. No, I'm kidding. I love you, baby. Um, she stays with, uh, in, when she's in New York City, yeah. she stays in the Upper West Side. And it's like, we're in this really crazy condom. A condominium? What condominium? The condominium. condominium. <laughs> condominium. Condom. I don't know why I thought condom. 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 Every time the doorman look at me, they're like, "This guy's a champ." <laughs> oh, she's like, rich. Yeah, yeah, she up, a, she up. A, she says she's she up white? middle class, mm-hmm. but she's not from there. Oh, that's smart. You should date a white bitch. I, uh, you know, white girls get me because I have, uh, uh, I have, yeah, they get me because like I have, um, I have hood angst uh-huh. and shit like. But you're that. like nerdy. Like I'm, a, I don't know if I'm nerdy, but like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like a nerd with hood angst. Okay. Yeah, I have hood angst. Who pays yeah, yeah. for dinner? Usually me. Okay, good. Usually me. Mm-hmm. Nah, I, I I was joking the other when I said that bullshit. I like being the dude that provides. Yeah. Right, but I want to provide the way I want to provide. Which is what? Like I want to do it through the with this dick. <laughs> with this dick. <laughs> um, that's part for the course. That's like. Man, that's yeah. not even. Yeah. How do you prefer to provide? Like when you want? No, to. I want. No, no, no. I want to provide with. Comedy, like I want to be able to pay my of bills course. and shit. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course. The problem is, I did get a taste of making corporate money, mm-hmm. and uh-huh. now I'm like, mm. yeah, healthcare. Yeah. I had help, yo, dude. I just started using my healthcare, yeah. and then they laid me off, bro. Two years, two years. I didn't use that shit once, except for dental. I gave them two years of my life, <laughs> and <laughs> and now I got a toe you problem. Go into and sanitation. Shit. Toe problem. Don't fucking talk to me. Why? Like <laughs> why? He got to go in sanitation. Awesome. I'm sanitation. <laughs> Cause I'm thick out here, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm, Cause you could pick up a bag like no other. Like no other. I wasn't an infantry. I could do a lot of. The, yo, I did uh, everything in my life is basically prepped me to be. You look homeless. like that goofy chubby nurse. You know. A goofy chubby nurse. <laughs> Yo, she's sucking you crazy right you know? now. No, no, no. I respect her. No, you know that funny nurse that's like cracking jokes. Like he's it, like oh, no, he's the one yeah. who draws your blood. Let <laughs> <laughs> like uh, me tell you something right now. I'll be running the hospital. Okay, yeah. Okay. You look like you're running the airport, though. though. I'm fat. You're gr- <laughs> <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> you're the but coolest you're kind still, of fat. You're is, still though. not fat enough to not get girls. Yeah. Um, I get girls because I have a nice face. And, yeah, yeah. And, you gotta look and let's lips. be real. I'm mad entertaining. Yeah, yeah, you are. I'm just mad entertaining. entertaining. Like, yeah, you girls are entertaining. Love me. Well, like, one of the sexiest fat dudes ever, though. I am one of the sexiest. <laughs> I'm going to try to be sexy for real. You're really, one of the sexiest you're really fat so dudes sexy. ever. Stop playing with me, dog. <laughs> for real. It's not going to help you. Did you date a fat person? Um, nah. Uh, oh, a girl. Yeah? Yo, her, titties, did a fat her titties were crazy. Because they were like, I didn't even realize how saggy they were mm-hmm. until like I saw her shirtless and her, her nipples like went under. Whoa. Like they were so, you know when they go down, down. Yeah, yeah. That was like under. I've never seen titties sweaty, that big. sweaty titties. Oh my god, that was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, how do I even like to suck up your dildo? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's you wild, like, bro. That shit was crazy. When you were like, like cave diving when she, when like you know she was like getting fucked by me. Like her nips, her titties like hit her face and go back down. <laughs> that's like, wild. Flapped. That shit was crazy. Oh, you were clapping it that hard though. <laughs> I be yo, clapping it. Yo, yo, petite chicks. Yeah. They will surprise you in bed, bro. Yeah, we're talking about you're talking about being inside them. I'm talking about them being inside someone else. I, I'm sure she has the same level of ego mm. that needs to be filled. Yeah, mm. are you kidding me? I don't have a cock. You know how much I have to make up for it. Yeah, 
exhausted, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Yo, do you do any finger exercises whenever? Oh, the... yeah. Sometimes I'd be getting a cramp, and I'm like, no, a guy with a dick wouldn't get a cramp right now. No, 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 no. We're not going to get sexual. We're not going to get sexual. <laughs> I hate when we do this. <laughs> yeah, what's every... up with you? <laughs> you know what it is? You know what it is? I'm tired of, like, every time if there's a girl on the pod, it gets sexual. I never want to get sexual. I hate sex. Me... So let's talk about something else. Let's talk about anything Sorry. else. What do you want to talk about? Um, we, we were talking about so much, bro. Yo, I do want to know, though. So you moved, you went to college here no, in New York? I didn't go to school. You didn't go to school? Okay, cool. No. And you came, you get straight into modeling from like 16. teenager, 16. Yeah, so I was signed in high school. And you came to New York. How did you, wait, That's cool. was it one of those things? Yeah. That, yeah, say it, say it. Say it. Oh, I was just like walking down the street. Oh, I thought mm-hmm. it was like that because I remember there was a point in New York mm-hmm. where, like, I know you were in Boston, but like in New York City, where people modeling agencies go into schools. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah no. and they recruit girls, and it was wild. It what felt this... predatory. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, it felt it, like some just laying Maxwell shit. Yeah. So how, how what happened? Was it at a mall? No, it was. Uh, I was just like, okay, it was a long story. But I was walking down the street, and then a smaller agency, like someone at the smaller agency, saw me, and then I did. Um, like this stupid fashion show, and then someone else saw me at that fashion show, and then signed me to this mother agent. And a mother mm. agent's like a manager for models, so it's, they're mm. usually smaller. Like a mother agent, like is like out of Philly or New Jersey, and then they get models who can be in bigger markets and and show them to bigger markets. And so then I signed to this agency in New York, and then I was like modeling back and forth. And I graduated high school like a year early. I was working at like some retail store and I would model and stuff in the fashion week a few seasons. I only did it to get into acting. Mm. It helped me get like my first kind of acting of course, agent. You gotta start somewhere. Gotta get yeah, and I already knew I was like a good actor, so mm. I was like, okay, whatever I need to do to get in. Because can I ask really... a question about act? Do you think? That like, because you have a personality, yeah. That it's easier for you to act, and because you grew up poor, yeah. Well, I can tap into my emotions like no other. Mm. Like I really can. I can turn that shit on. I mean, when I shot the horror film, like I, you know, so they, they didn't use all the. Sorry, what? You, when you what from the? When I shot the horror film, like they just put tape on a tree, and you have to. They're like action. You, you don't have like time to like fucking. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you know, it's not like a play where everything is like. You know, analogous. I mean, not analogous. Sorry, Con- you know, in an order. Sorry, so we're trying. To- you know what I mean? Like you shoot things all out of order. Okay. So yeah. it's like you're shooting like you're crying see the first day. And you're like, fuck, I gotta but get I'm- into this shit. Exactly. And you could do it like this. Yeah, but that's also because I've been like, I've had amazing acting coaches. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do that's like, fucking dope. You're an actor too. Yeah. 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 I'm acting. Can you tap into that shit like that? Yeah. If I Actually, I've seen you do it. Me too. You do yeah. it. You've done it in front of me. The, the, the self tapes. <laughs> I've done a lot of self tapes. I hated self tapes, but um, no, it was um, I'm I would like to get back more into acting, but it's got to be with someone that's like worth being with. Yo, yeah, in terms of um, let's get into plugs. We did it yes, sir, twenty sir. minutes too late, but it's fine. Yes, okay. Um, tell them where to find you, Sienna. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Let's wait for the plug. Are you got the plug music ready? I don't even know what. When does this come out? Sunday. Next week, Sunday. Okay. Yo, my name is Kevin Sanchez. This is Doped Up. If you haven't already and you're watching, please motherfucking subscribe. We need that. We need you to smash that like button. Write a comment. Uh, talk your shit. We don't give a fuck. Uh, you can obviously tell who's in charge of those comments because <laughs> they be coming at you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to pass it over to our guest, Sienna. <laughs> Hi. Oh, shit. I was not confident. Hi. Hi. No. See, we support trans people. Uh, no. You, I know. <laughs> trans people. Hi, my name is Frederick. Um, uh, you That's can, your surname. We don't my know. surname. Um, at Sienna Hubert Ross on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, I'll be in Boston uh, the weekend that this comes out, the 20th and the 30th. And then I'll be in D.C. headlining October 14th. Ha- and, where else, and where else will you be? I'm headlining sets. I'm where, headlining where on Tuesday. Where else will you be? Uh, all over the city. What? On Thursday? Oh, I'll be <laughs> doped up. Uh, Thursday the 28th um, <laughs> headlighting that show t- <laughs> <laughs> let's go <laughs> come out and come to Sienna she's gonna be there she's Thursday the 28th there. guys um, you can follow me she's online at DC funny. Williams Comedy uh, TikTok DC Williams Comedy and that's it thank you also follow Dilla J Negri <laughs> yeah yeah make sure you follow them he's on I the road with Big J yeah, there's something I feel like every time I just come up. Oh no, well I will be I will be in Atlanta on Wednesday. I'll this be in Atlanta on Wednesday. Next week Wednesday. What so, are you doing? Um now? I will be performing at Atlanta Comedy Theater and I hope it goes good. I hope I don't bomb. 
We shall see. You're not going to bomb. <laughs> Fucking, uh, let's pass it to our producer, Nat. Thanks. Good catch, because I was about to call you out for it. I know, it. I know, I know, I know. Uh, Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram. And watch Gas Digital now on the Gas Digital exclusive YouTube channel. And congratulations to Nat for her one-year anniversary Ooh, doing her pod. Yeah. Shout out to my pod. Shout out to GBM over there. It, uh, can't going, believe guys. it's been this long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, man. Uh, what All do you right. what do you think you wanna what do you wanna go into? What do you think we, where do you think we should go from here? This has been good though. Oh, well, conversationally. Yo, I mean, we got like yeah. seven minutes left, and then we out of here. Okay, so what do you wanna talk about? What do you um, can I hit your vape once? Yeah, um, I feel like um, you, you wanna hit it through your shirt. I don't yeah. wanna get you sick. Or um, are you sick? No, I just have like sinus. You've my heard sinuses. Me. No, 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 not yet. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> take off my shirt. I was gonna. I was gonna say like when you were you totally bored and like done with like modeling, but well going into acting. But what what made you feel like yo? I'm just gonna go do. You told me you saw someone. It was the roles that you're getting auditioning for. It was a lot of comedy, yeah, stuff that like they liked. From um, you. Well, com- modeling is dumb. I mean, when I was <laughs> modeling, like when I was doing it heavy, not anyone could. It's like not everyone could do it like it is now. Like yeah, you yeah, couldn't yeah. just like I remember you saying, like yeah. I don't know. There was a exclusivity to it that was actually kind of fun yeah, in a way it made it aspirational yeah, yeah it made it aspirational mm-hmm. and you're like you wanted to be with Wilhelmina or IMG or whatnot and now yeah. it's like very different and like the rates are like way worse mm-hmm. now social media is like yeah because they've big... saturated the market with it... a bunch of people who yeah just have a following not necessarily as pretty as you or like working at the I don't yeah. know what the aspects of modeling is but like and there's just a, there's too many people there yeah, I just yeah. I, I mean I do feel like I know like you know being you know inclusive and stuff but I do feel like People probably, I don't know, I'm not gonna say shit. But so I was doing that for a while. And uh, that was going down. No, I'm just saying these plus size women need to get out of here. No, 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 no. no. I don't want you to go. You did the right thing. Yeah, let's pivot. Okay, so acting. Um, I always knew I wanted to do it professionally. And then I started auditioning. And then I would just get further in the process for like comedy shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I had an amazing acting coach who we would like literally listen to comedic music. And like, mm. like we would hear like the comedy in music, and you would just burst out laughing just based on the drums and the flute. Mm. It was crazy. It was just showing that comedy is all rhythm. And then I would listen to sitcoms, just like I Love Lucy, Cheers. I wouldn't even watch, just like listen to it as like oh, oh, clean my house or whatnot. And so my comedic timing, like acting wise, got pretty good. And so I kept auditioning. I would, I would get far in the process, and that's when I always wanted to do stand up. I just didn't know that like mm-hmm. a woman could do it. I'm not gonna lie. What do you mean? I I just didn't know of any women that were huge mm-hmm. that. I mean, besides like Amy Schumer, I didn't really know of that. Oh, okay, many. okay. You know you, what I mean? You just like, wasn't in. Yeah, you didn't know. You don't know what you don't know. I grew up with like Cat Williams and Dave Chappelle course, and Bill yeah. Burr. Like, I didn't know of like an equivalent woman. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's Is interesting. There? I mean, Monique. I'm trying to think right now. Yeah, like, I guess Monique. Monique. Yeah. I don't know why, but I watch more Monique movies than her stand up personally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like. I like. Well, I've seen Monique do like she's a great actress too. She's a great yeah. fucking. And Monique actress, is all, she's been precious. Um, yeah. I mean, she, <laughs> I mean even beyond that. that, bro. No, but like, I'm she's saying nice. that I also she's very different from me. So <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, but I also grew up in a black household where people like my family is like funnier than me. Like mm. they're so funny. So you know when you grow up, and that's a like, lot of comedians. Yeah, uh, yeah so many. Yeah. They're fucking hilarious. My brothers are way funnier than me. And that's yeah. And so for me, like I always wanted to be. Like, like the, you know, they'll tell you when you're not funny. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They'll love you, but they'll tell you. I, I was, I was telling Dylan, I was like, I've been bombing since I was six. Yeah, <laughs> no, literally, literally. I'm trying to like get into the conversation. They're like, Nabi, sit yeah. down. I tell people, my, we tell a bad joke in the car with my brother. That nigga will wind the window down, let it out. <laughs> my back, mom. Bro. I swear, I'm gonna let that one out. He would just wind the window down, bro. No, that's literally my mom. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh there. shit, you I like your mom. Your mom is like, she seems dumb. like a I personality, that, that yo. Last friendship. Uh, I like we would be I would on like a to, podcast. I want to do it. T- you should do a, like a twenty minute pod. I know. I wouldn't want to do a consistent podcast. With well, not even a pod. Be- like a, yeah. like segments. Yeah. 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 Don't do a podcast. Don't do a podcast. I'm like no. the opposite. Other people are like do a podcast. I'm like don't do a podcast. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Me and DC were just talking about this. Shadow band. Like like no 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 like uh. The podcast, like this podcast about podcast about yo, literally. <laughs> and I'm like, and, and it's is is only to hate people too. I, That's crazy. Yeah. That is so fucking. But see here, nuts. my narcissism stops after people slap tables. 
after that, I don't want any more tension. You know what I mean? Oh, I, re- yeah. I also don't like sounding off on topics like I know what I'm talking about no. when I'm not making a joke because then uh, it's a it's different. I hate just hearing myself talk. Yeah. This is, like, like, like did me, did me mm-hmm. talk about China? Communism yeah. be crazy. I'm like, shut the fuck exactly. up. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's just like, but also, Communism be crazy. Though? <laughs> <laughs> but that's how a lot of fucking communism is. Yeah, and it, everything's extreme. Yo, people are just like, man, you can't say anything. Everything's I, just so The like, allure uh, of the podcast money, though, does get me. But those it ain't are the t- me, man. <laughs> it's it, it, fucking it's t- on the top. Like those are only the top yeah. people making it. And, and then all no... of them are getting ripped off by Cast Media. I heard. I don't know if you guys heard about that thing where they're they all they owe like the Elon's pocket like a four million. They owe this one a couple million. Like people just been they have just haven't been paying them for the yeah. sponsorships. I also, yo, bro. I'm tired of like. Everybody promoting the same shit. Blue Chew. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Liquid Death. Everyone's a Liquid Death. <laughs> yeah, like, I get it. Make your money. Oh, you were, Yandies, was bro. Oh, my Yo, God. was in the gay market first, and then it Was it really? Yeah. Word? Jesus, yeah. Bro. It is. Uh, that makes sense, because that's honestly the most comfortable underwear I've ever worn in my yeah. life. Blue Chew, Hems. It's just like, oh, we're really just selling out. We, uh, most of these podcasts aren't funny. I think yeah. my, the best podcast is Tim Dillon. They Dylan's. were funny. Tim Dillon's the best. He's I, the best. I, I feel the best. like they're better actually when you don't even you try be on to this be network. funny. Shout out. He, <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, yeah. Oh yeah. Shout out Gas Digital having uh, Tim Dillon. Hat. Hat. Yeah. Hat. But yeah, these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> he said had. Uh, he's hashtag mean, Austin. Austin. <laughs> hashtag Austin. Well, he hates that place. I know. <laughs> he uh-huh. hates that place. But I want to go because like. Yo, it's time for me to leave the city, yo. Why? It's just time, yo. Like, if I'm not make, if I'm not gonna make five hundred grand here a year, it's time to go. Really? Yeah, three hundred grand, two hundred grand around there, like around Are you that. Close to that at all? Not even close. Okay. That's the thing. <laughs> and, and if, and, so I rather. <laughs> So, so, <laughs> the realm of like immediate possibilities. Well, it is actually. I love the way she uh, feels out what you're saying. <laughs> like, are you uh, anywhere no. near like well, I two thousand dollars? Well, I have friends that make yeah. good money. It, earlier, and, you were like, you got to make at least seventy thousand yeah. for poverty, and I was like, okay, so are you making forty? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was. I really was. I was making, uh, more, making more than, more than that. that. Okay, but. But yeah, I'd rather be poor in Austin. Yeah. I ra- and then also, I ra- I know I can get spots there all day yeah. long. And you guys are getting in at a good time before mm-hmm. it's like oversaturated with like everyone starting comedy. Six too. months to a year, bro. Being out there, I want to headline the comedy mothership. That is my for for show that for sure goal. I don't want to headline. headline the I could give a fuck about headline. Thousand percent want to headline. The Why? I just I want to headline the rest of America. Yeah, that's fine too. Yeah, but yeah, also, yeah. I want to. I, I want to be able to think. Like, you might. You might want to start. So, where do you headline right now? Um, <laughs> in Brooklyn. For <laughs> I'm doing, can you say you do have to ask him the question? <laughs> he said, it. "Yeah, <laughs> you're like if I'm not making five hundred k to a million, I ain't gonna Which be I here." Which I respect feel. Yeah, I'm, I mean, he's all about his I'm manifestation. Like, I want to headline a comedy show. He's like, "I want to headline the universe." Yo, <laughs> I'm like, I'm right, I want to start somewhere. At the time but the that's not. Yo, speaking you, the president. nobody, nobody like. You're not headlining the mothership. I just They're doing showcases. The that's that's different. That's not the same I thing. I just want my name in the marquee. Fucking bro. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, I don't know. That's that's um, I don't know. That's what any goals for next year? I don't know. I feel like it's for me. Yeah, yeah. For you, you're writing a script. You're fucking doing yeah, a lot of shit. You're doing a, a lot of stuff. Company. Yeah. You're fucking working, yo. Yeah. Um, I mean, what are my goals? Yeah, to well, to film the 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 script that I wrote, like to mm-hmm. we're selling it and shit. So to do that, once the strike is like done, mm-hmm. um, then we're working on a couple other projects. I would love if you sold it before the strike. Was yeah, done. I wish I you filmed the whole thing during with just like non-actors, some people from the street, just I fucking know. whatever you guys can put together some and just grimy ass shit. Not grimy, but like uh, what do you call it? Um, fucking like just the fucking skeleton crew and people that just want to do it. None of the actors got paid, but the movie was great. <laughs> like you know, yeah, what I mean? like, it just wouldn't be great. At that yeah, point. it wouldn't be great. You don't think so? No, no the no. fuck, no. We're gonna no, get you a gotta, fucking. You gotta get professionals, bro. We're getting a studio behind. No, it. you need like t- no, no. What I'm saying is, of course, like <laughs> I'm not paying no one. It'll be great. No, <laughs> you said, saying... why don't I be the lead? Kevin be the other lead. <laughs> why don't I play your no, character? No, no, no. Wait, one good, one good actor, right? <laughs> Pay one guy. Everyone else is just the Softy Brothers. A lot of their films, their earlier shit, bro. They had a lot of people from the state. They casted people on the streets. They scouted people on okay, the streets. Okay, well, that's not us. Well, not actually, cool. we're going to need a lot of comics in it because there are scenes like at comedy clubs. <laughs> you know, you don't got to pay them motherfuckers. You I know. Oh, well, I'm like, I'm giving you an IMDb credit. You know <laughs> what I mean? I'm going to be like, yo, dog, 
What studio is it? <laughs> I, got, I got offered something recently. I'm like, I think I get offers. Yeah. <laughs> well, they wrote offers. it for me. Well, they was wrote it? it for him. <laughs> yeah, they wrote this part for me. This and part, why? This part. <laughs> uh, uh, it's about the sports thing about with the Knicks, and I'm like, I'll do it, bro. Yeah. They wanted everybody, all the dope to do it, yeah. and I was like, I couldn't get you guys. In I remember, <clears throat> and now he was like, "Yo, fuck your friends. Can I just get you?" <laughs> oh my god! And you still said no. I said yes, but like I'm moving on. I, I uh, by I the time this gets done, like, you gotta fly me. Yeah, you have to fly me, bro. At least because he's not paying you. Right? And he's not paying me. Oh, it's and tough. I'm like, it's tough. oh, he, he's gonna pay me something, but it's not gonna be a lot. It's not. Mm-hmm. I don't want to break even on a flight, you know. Bro. Anyway, this is anyway, about, this is about yeah. over. <laughs> I'm Yo, done. Thank you for this, coming. Thank you for coming, Sienna. You're fucking a joy. Yeah, I appreciate actually, you, motherfucker. Fun, yeah. I like every time I see you in front of St. Mark's uh, talking shit about this world we decided to fucking be a part of. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, DC, you're there. I'm always there, bro. You're there, I'm, man. Everywhere I am is where I'm at. What's your real name? You Daquan Siobhan. Yo, I heard a waitress say his name the other day. <laughs> no, it's not. I've heard it. Lukeisha? She, she was like, read it. She was like, Daquan. Daquan? Yeah. It sounded sound like black propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> that name, there is some propaganda about my name. There's some weird about it. Bro. You go see those Daquan pages, you're like, I can't go by Daquan, bro. That shit is crazy. That shit's nasty. Daquan has I'm four kidding. women pregnant. <laughs> family he's not aware of. And this and that. It's like, no, fuck, you were aware. Dude. Doing hood rat shit with my friends. Like, yeah, well, you even get a headstone. You know? you said, <laughs> no, DC Women's going to be the headstone. Okay. Yo, you're not going to even put it on your headstone? Daquan, Siobhan, Will it? Right, Ryan. Yeah. You know, I in like. France, they'd be like, they call chiffon, oh my God. You know what I mean? But yeah. like in America, they're going to be like, what kind of ratchet ass burial is this? <laughs> like, uh, this nigga's life was probably a mess or something. Damn. Anyway, I wish you guys the best, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, Nash. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Yeah, man. Thank you for the coming. Sunday morning smoke show. Bye. Woo.